Hello everyone, back again with another biology video since that's pretty much all I do now. Anyways, we'll be talking about the barnacles from Half-Life. I mean, the stowaway, a creature that is so stealthy that some people don't even know it exists. A creature very unique in the world of Rain World that has taken the stealthy ambush niche to its fullest extent, being what the Dropwig could only dream of being. Anyways, the stowaway's body has a few sections. It also looks like a certain part that the male audience should recognize. The body itself has a non-organic rock surrounding where the creature seems to have dug itself into with each stowaway having a different number of rocks surrounding it. And they'll have gray stripes which are hard to notice in the pitch black darkness. Pulling back the skin also shows this white sack that I have no idea why it's there. It has whiskers that are very likely are used to sense prey and also, funnily, they look identical to the jellyfish parts when in water. When the creature is activated from a creature passing its whiskers, it'll show its terrifying mouth and its tongues that are pink with odd hooks connecting to each to make sure the prey doesn't escape. With the tongues, the hook we see is something usually stunning the prey when the tongues are hooked to them. During its dormant stage, it's much harder to notice in the areas it lives in, which are mainly dark, cramped areas. The also, the creature passively releases what appears to be saliva. The mouth also has a different number of teeth depending on each stowaway, with some having six and some having less. Since the creature appears to be hidden in the earth, it's hard to say on what the creature actually is due to the lack of information, but it sort of looks like a worm-like creature that tunnels into the earth with its sharp teeth. Now the scary thing about these creatures is that eat everything. Well, they don't eat everything but most. For example, they don't eat bat flies but instead kill them. Same with Miro's birds and leviathans or even reindeers with their grappling hooks. Some creatures are eaten whole, but other creatures are first killed by the stowaways bite then swallowed and you have special cases like the red centipede which cannot be killed until a segment is removed. Funnily, infant centipedes can shock the stowaways stunning them. In fact, these creatures are quite similar to the proto-daddy long legs when looked at, and they definitely are similar also. Funnily, they cannot be eaten by the daddy long legs, making it one the few creatures unable to be killed by them. In fact, stowaways are immune to pretty much everything, with only visibly having a few predators such as the scavengers. Also, the chief scavenger cannot be eaten, which is funny. Also interesting is the drop wig is able to escape the stowaway the same way it can escape lizard bites, like how a slug cat throws spears when captured. Funnily, they also eat individual leeches, which is funny. Also, stowaways cannot survive in water and end up drowning. In fact, these creatures will even attempt to kill guardians, but unfortunately cannot succeed. Should also mention they'll drag up their prey with their long tongues and sometimes carrying multiple carcasses, possibly due to the environment they live in having such few prey that missing a meal is life or death. Weird how they'll try to kill Miros vultures and yet won't try to kill vultures. And although I've heard people say they different colored varieties with their teeth, but I swear I can't see it. Also interesting, stowaway cannot see and have no eyes, but will follow the prey with their head when captured. I'd suggest these creatures survive the rain by entering a dormant stage during the flooding in the caverns. It's likely they dig their own homes out underground and simply retract when the rain comes. When it comes to tools, cherry bombs are a good tool at distracting the stowaway and catching them as it releases their tentacles also. Attacking a tongue does a similar effect to attacking a tentacle of a daddy long legs causing it to spasm and it'll release you. Spore puffs easily kill the stowaway, but unfortunately the areas that inhabit usually don't have many if any puffs. Throwing rocks at them will activate the stowaway, however it should be noted it's hard to hit these creatures, as they're usually at hard-to-reach areas. Also, the stowaway has no arena unlock, which made spawning these creatures odd. Thank God mods exist. Anyways, I believe that's all to cover with the stowaway truly a fascinating creature. But anyways, tell me if you want another creature analyzed. 